Halloween nerds across the globe. Well, unless you're a flat earther. What do you say when you're a flat earther? Do you say like across the plains, across the fields, across the pancake? Anyway, Halloween fans across the universe are no doubt having nerdgasms this morning because of a new image, a new image of Michael Myers that dropped today from Halloween Kills, the highly anticipated, where the fuck are you? We can't wait for you to get here. Halloween Kills, which of course comes out this October. Will it be in the theater? Will it be on streaming? Who knows? But it's definitely coming out. No doubt about that. Uh, A new image dropped and people are excited about it about it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to look at it. We're going to examine it. We're going to do what we Halloween fans do. And I want you guys to give me your thoughts in the comment section below. And hopefully we can have a rational, productive, friendly, nice conversation. (laughs) That's the internet. Anyway, uh, about this new image. So let's do it. Let's jump right into it. This comes to us, of course, from Total Film. This is, uh, they are the ones that are dropping this exclusive image. So uh, here we go. Halloween kills. Michael Myers returns in this deadly exclusive image. (laughs) I see what you did there. Director David Gordon Green talks to Total Film about the Halloween sequel. That, of course, is not the image. That, of course, is from Halloween 2018. The image is coming up, but I'm sure many of you have already seen it. Halloween Kills promises to bring back Michael Myers, and we should all be worried. Quote, it's about the creation of fear, director David Gordon Green says of the Halloween sequel, which will not only bring back Michael Myers and Jamie Lee Curtis's Laurie, but also other characters the shape terrorized in the 1978 original. Now, of course, that's not new information. We already know that. They're just bringing us back up to speed because it's been some time since we've been talking about this. Uh, David Gordon Green goes on. He says, um, quote, it's one thing to be afraid of the boogeyman, he continues, to have someone who might be in the closet, under the bed, creeping around your house. But we wanted to explore, but what we wanted to explore next was confusion, misinformation, and paranoia. What happens when fear goes viral? You can't just stick your head under the covers anymore, end quote. Now, when I read that, my first thought is, Okay, now there's no doubt there's going to be some of you, maybe even a lot of you, that are, that are going to pick up on certain words and think, ah, oh, here we go, they're bringing the politics into it, right? Like words like misinformation, that's a buzzword, right? Uh, paranoia, confusion, viral, you know, those types of words, especially with what's been going on in the political climate as, as, of, <laughs> as of late, uh, certainly I can understand how that may be a turnoff for some of you. Uh, and listen, as long as Halloween Kills doesn't do what Black Christmas 2019 did, which was essentially that was a political message with a movie attached to it, not a movie with a political message attached to it, um, then I think we'll be okay. It's all on how it's executed. Some of the best movies, some of the best horror movies have something to say about society, the state that we're in, but it's all in the execution, whether it's subliminal, whether it's subtext, right? Um, you know, is it does it relate directly to the narrative? Is there something that, you know, makes sense? It's not contrived. It's not condescending or pretentious or preachy, right? It, it, it makes sense. It feels organic instead of synthetically created for the sole purpose of banging you over the head with some sort of, you know, message that they want to say. If you really want people to get it and to understand it, it has to be done really on a subconscious level. And, uh, and that's, and that's, you know, so, you know, I read this and I'm like, okay, that's interesting. Interesting. Interesting buzzwords in there that no doubt will turn some people off, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be what some of you might think it is. So let's just let's you know let's give them the benefit of the doubt if you are turned off by certain words here that you are are seeing. Uh, just you know, I think it's important to to, to be mindful of that. Uh, let me see. Let me continue here. Uh, da, 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 da. Below, you can check out an exclusive image of Halloween Kills that features in the new issue of our sister publication, Total Film Magazine. And there it is. There. Let's jump over to the image. And here is the image. <laughs> Pretty cool image, no doubt about it. It definitely speaks and says Michael Myers to me. However, there's a few things that I think of when I look at this image. Number one is, is this just simply a promotional image and not something that we're going to see in the movie, at least not exactly like this? Let's first talk about this and then we'll dive into the details of what we're looking at here and what it could mean in relation to the original Halloween from 1978. So, 
again, when I look at this, I, it's a great shot. It would be a great shot in a movie, 100%. But it's a great promotional image as well. Something to keep in mind that's very important is that, again, is it something that's more like this? Right. As we can see here, this is no doubt that that this scene does take place in the original Halloween, but we never see this shot exactly in the original Halloween because this is a promotional image. The same thing happens when we see this one here. Right. We've never, ever, ever seen this shot specifically in the original Halloween because it doesn't exist. This is a promotional image only. Pretty cool shot, though. Right. Hundred percent. Really, really cool shot. Could there have been a scene where you could have woven this into the movie? Yeah, maybe. But we don't ever see this shot specifically in John Carpenter's Halloween. And the same thing could be said for this. This could be nothing more than a promotional image. And we don't exactly see this specific specific shot in Halloween Kills. We may see some variation of it, right? So when you actually watch the movie, you recognize, oh, this is the scene from that image. This is the scene where that photo was taken or whatever the case is. But the way it plays out in the actual narrative isn't specifically exactly like this, right? So that's important to keep in mind is that this is, could be not necessarily a screen capture lifted from the timeline of the actual film, but a promotional image for Halloween kills. Uh, it's important to keep that in mind. The next thing I want to talk about is, of course, people are no doubt going to be saying, Dave, what about the blue lighting? Oh my God, look at the blue light. You know, you know, the blue lighting. Look at it. Isn't it awesome? Yes, I am no doubt. It is no secret. I am somebody that believes that that a Halloween movie and the character of Michael Myers, uh, when it comes to nighttime, definitely I appreciate and love and want more of the cold, um, uh, the cold, cooler moonlight um, uh, look to Halloween. It's Halloween. It's the Midwest. It's October 31st. It's not, you know, it's not the middle of the summer. So the warmer tungsten balance light, which we got a lot of in Halloween, uh, 2018, it, it didn't really jive with me. But when I say that I, I like the, the bluish look and the colder look, that doesn't mean that I think the entire movie should be color graded into this blue hue or that every five seconds when it's nighttime, there should have a blue look to it. That's not what I'm talking about because the light has to be justified, right? You have to justify the light source and where it's coming from. So if things look blue, why do they look blue? What What is the light source that's making this look blue, right? Unless, of course, you you just strip the entire film down and you just wash out the color. And But usually you know that from the beginning of the movie. Um, but certainly for me, it's all about uh, honoring the original, the original aesthetic from 1978 and honoring what I believe is an important element to the character, the ghostly, colder, cool vibe of not just the season, but the character of the boogeyman, the pale, emotionless, cold feel that that I think we want to have when we're looking at the character of Michael Myers. So yes, I see this and I see some blue on the wall there and I see some blue in the, in the window behind him. That's an interesting window. Um, and I see this and I think that's really, really cool. Uh, no pun intended on the cool, but again, you know, and, and what I like about this too, is that I can tell that it's not just, you know, color graded into this blue hue, right? Because Michael Myers is actually not, cool. He's lit by a warm tungsten sort of balanced light coming from his right, your left from this room. Now, it, now obviously the light is a, is a, is a, is a, uh, light from the, the film crew. But again, what is the, what is the light source supposed to be? That's what I think of, right? Uh, it's tungsten balanced, you know, and, uh, they're shining it on, on the, on the right side of him. Uh, but, my, my, that actually is what's happening. We know that. But then my thought is, what is, what is the light source supposed to be, right? Is it a candle from a pumpkin? Is it a desk lamp, right? You know, those are usually tungsten balanced and give off more of a warm kind of vibe. There's clearly some sort of light source coming from the room to the left here. But what is that light source? I find that interesting, you know, and it could be a pumpkin. Who knows? Could be a light, like I said, from a desk lamp or, 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 or candles. Maybe it's candles. I don't know. Right. But it's clearly not the moon coming from, uh, the window from over there. And I actually think that would have been cool. I, I think, I think the reason why it's, it's 
done this way. Obviously, Michael stands out against the backdrop here of more of the bluish around him. He definitely does stand out. Um, as long as the light source is justified and I believe in the light source and it makes sense to me, then okay. Um, it's But, you know, at the end of the day, this is definitely a cool image, no doubt about it. Now, the next thing is, where is this, where is this image? Well, I think this is probably the Myers house. The only thing that would throw me off is the window behind him over his left shoulder, uh, our right side here. I don't ever remember seeing a window like that in the Myers house, but it also could be because it was too dark. Um, and the reason why I think this is the Myers house, and let me go over to the other... Okay, uh, we are now looking at, of course, the opening scene from the original Halloween from 1978. The One Minute Man, or the <laughs> 30 Second Man, depending on how you look at it, has just left Judith, and little six-year-old Michael Myers is about to walk up the stairs. Now, I want you to pay attention to the banister here. Uh, of course, we have the circular part of the banister, uh, this knob part uh, at the bottom of the banister here, right? Pay, pay attention to that now. Now, when we uh, go a little further, pay attention to the design here of the banister sort of underneath the railing. Pay attention to that. Pay attention to that. Okay, you got that in your head? You got those things in your head? You got them in your head? I know you do. I know you do. Okay. Now, when we jump over to the image we've just looking been looking at, ah, fascinating. Then you look at, of course, the, the banister, which is on the correct side, if this was supposed to be the Myers house. Um, you do see the circular uh, objects or the circular part of the, of the banister at the top there. And you also see, if you look at um, just below the railing, you see what looks like that same design. Interesting, really fascinating. So this says to me that this is probably the Myers house. Um, and of course, there is a door, a bedroom or some sort of room to Michael's left here um, that, uh, that you also do see, uh, although not clearly and, and only briefly, but you do see that, that there is a room of some sort uh, let me just see here. There's a room of some sort at the top here, right at the top there. When you get to the top, there is a room at the top. You can see it when you get to the top. Da, 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 da. We're going frame by frame here. Um, it's hard to make out, but there definitely is a room at the top. And you can see it because... This is the door that leads into it. There's a room right there. So this, now there's no window. I don't see any window back here or anything like that. There may or may not have been a window there, uh, but nonetheless, um, there is a room there. So for me, when I look at this image, I think this is the Myers house, 100%. And I think most others will probably assume this as well. This is not, I'm not breaking any news. I'm not breaking any story here. But definitely when I see this, uh, I think this is the Myers house. And um, interesting. And obviously this would be the Myers house from uh, 2018, not 1978, because of the way that Michael Myers looks the way that he looks. He looks like the burned, beat up uh, 2018 Michael Myers. So, uh, you know, no doubt about it. But the real question is, is this a scene in the movie, right? I know some people are going to point to the teaser trailer for Halloween Kills and say that, well, this is when, you know, maybe when Allison screams at the end of the trailer, she's looking up and that's who she sees is Michael Myers. Yes, 100%. This could be what she sees. And this is the next shot that we see in that sequence. But like I said at the beginning of this video, it's important to remember that this could be nothing more than a promotional image for the film. That this exact shot, this exact moment, this exact this exact shot does not appear in the movie anywhere. The scene does, and maybe you do see Myers at the top of the stairs, but it's from a slightly different angle, or, or it's it's more from above, or it's more maybe to the left, or it's, you know, not maybe he's not lit quite like that, or it's 100% that you've got to keep that in mind, um, 100%. Um, so... Yeah, just be mindful of that. But nonetheless, those, those are my thoughts. Those are my at least first initial thoughts when I look at this image. I like the look of it. I like the, the uh, it definitely speaks Michael Myers to me. It definitely speaks Halloween to me. Um, I think it's a great promotional image. I like the look. 
Uh, I definitely think it's the Myers house uh, based on the banister and the uh, the design of the banister where the stairs are situated. And of course, uh, that room to the left of him um, or our left, his right, excuse me, I should say. Uh, so for those reasons alone, I, I yeah, I think that is the Myers house. And I, and I think it's the Myers house in present day, you know, 2018. I, I, I don't think it's it's uh, 1978 based purely on what he looks like. Um, so it's a cool image. I like it. I'm curious to see more. I'm curious to see more. Anyways, folks, my name's Dave McRae. Comment below and let me know your thoughts. What do you think of the image? Tell me what you think. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Are you worried? You know, what do you think is happening here? Do you think it's the Myers house? Do you think it's not the Myers house? Comment below and let me know your thoughts. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm on Facebook under many things Dave McRae. I'm on Instagram at Dave McRae 79. And I'm on Twitter at the voiceman at the voiceman with two ends. All the links are in the description. Uh, so check them out until your heart's content and when your heart is content check them out again uh that is going to do it for me in the meantime and in between time i hope you guys uh, have a great rest of your what's today wednesday wednesday all righty cheers